Hey guys, so I am working on a project for the GNU. Um, we found that we have a hard time docking the GNU at any dock because the GNU is really low, so it doesn't hit at dock level. And the widest part of the GNU is basically at the water level, so traditional fenders tend to ride over top of the water and the GNU is exposed where it actually meets the water. So I've got some ideas bouncing around my head. I don't know if they're going to work or not, um, but I got this stuff called Kydex. And it's basically, it's, it's plastic that you put in the oven and you can heat it up and mold it in any shape you want. Um, they use it for gun holsters and various other things. So I'm gonna use this to make some clips so we can easily deploy the fenders once I figure out what they're gonna be and uh, you take them on and off pretty easily. So we're good to get to cutting and uh, we'll keep you posted and share the progress as we go. So I realized before I did the cutting, I probably should measure to figure out how big these things should be. So uh, I got this nice soft flexible tape measure and I measured and it looks like I want each piece to be about four and three quarter inches. Uh, my goal is to have the clip hang just over the rub rail um, so that the bumper can kind of ride along the side. So at this point, I'm planning on cutting each piece about four and three quarter inches long and about two and a half inches wide. Okay, so they're cut. Now I'm just using a penny as a, a pattern so I can round these corners and make them so that they don't poke us. So I'm getting ready to heat up the Kydex, but I realize I'm gonna be taking this hot Kydex and putting it on this rubber rub rail. So I decided to put some aluminum foil on the rub rail so when I put the Kydex on here and mold it, it doesn't potentially damage or melt the rub rail. So cross your fingers, let's see how it goes. All right, so the first piece of Kydex is going in the oven. You have to do it one at a time because they cool down pretty quick, so you can't do them all at once. So it's going in the oven, I got a little platter with some parchment paper. And I'm gonna heat that up for five minutes at 290 degrees. And then when I take it out, I'm going to be taking it over to the GNU with the aluminum foil and using my hands to shape it to the rub rail. So I've got a couple of gloves so I can hold it and it doesn't burn my hands and I can use it and shape it as it's starting to cool down to get it just the right shape. All right, it's been five minutes. I got my of gloves. We're taking the Kydex out of the oven and heading to the GNU. Smells delicious. Hot Kydex coming through. Putting it on the foil. Got my up glow so I can get a nice tight, tight squeeze on this thing. Okay, so Kydex is now not quite as hot. It's pretty much formed. I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna bend it just a little bit more. I'm trying to get a nice tight clip onto this rail. All right, looking pretty good. Put it maybe just a little bit more. So that way it gets a nice positive latch onto the rail. Oh, that's money. All right. So Kydex clips are done. And for a fender, we're gonna use these fenders that we got from West Marine. They're probably two inches thick, maybe about two feet long. Um, we've used them in the past and they tend to float. So part of this whole design is figuring out how to make sure they don't float because when they float, they just kind of float up and the boat can hit the uh, dock and everything else. So I got a few thoughts on how to figure that out and we'll show you that uh, coming up soon. So I mentioned these fenders um, and they're great. They're light, which actually isn't great, but they're also foam. So as you're sitting against maybe a piling that has barnacles, they're gonna get all chewed up. So I bought this kind of vulcanized rubber uh, from Amazon, we'll put the link down below, and I cut it to match, so it'll actually match, and allow will adhere that nice, hard, very durable rubber to the fenders. So once they're hanging on the side of the Ginu, um, the barnacles won't be chewing these all up, but these will last more than a month. All right, so I've been trying to think about ways to make sure that this fender doesn't just float up and actually stays in place 
against the side of the Ginu because the Ginu, the widest part is the water line. So I had to make sure this just doesn't float up and actually protects the boat. So what I'm gonna do, or what I did, was I got some half inch PVC and I bought some lead shot and this is filled with lead shot. So um, I figured out about two and a half pounds total weight is what I need to make this bumper uh, or, uh, you know, um, what's we're looking for? <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it a bumper um, to make this basically be about two inches below the water surface. So between the weight of this rubber and this PVC pipe filled with lead shot, um, it's almost two and a half pounds. And I just did a test back in the pool. And if I put this together, um, I'm gonna drill a hole through the middle here and we'll put that ballast in there. And when it's all said and done, this will lay right there and it's not gonna move an inch. Okay, so I just drilled the holes in the fender. Um, it is half inch PVC, but with these caps, I ended up drilling a one inch hole with a paddle bit. And I had an extension because you have to get all the way through. So I went halfway through, turned it over, and then went halfway through. So um, one inch paddle bit with an extension. And this PVC pipe now fits all the way in there. And it's nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere. I may fill the ends maybe with some caulk or epoxy, maybe, I don't know. But it's a ballast now and it's gonna keep that fender right against the side of the Ginu and actually under the water line just a little bit. So the side of the Ginu will be completely protected. So I'm really excited to get it finished and get it back on the water. Okay, the fenders are done and I'm really optimistic. So here is the finished product. I did modify the clips a little bit um, so they actually wrap around the rubber a little bit more uh, and they really clip on like a positive. They don't move at all. And then um, I ran cord through there and tied it to the clip and just had a knot on that cord. But I realized that this is just rubber. It's probably going to pull through. So I took some 3 8 PVC, put it through there with a little hole in top and that way it's reinforced and it's not going to pull out at all. Um, so it really clips on great. That's it. So excited about going to the keys to see how they work out. All right, we're docked. We are docked. And my bumpers are working perfectly. Yay! Watch this. There you go. They work like a charm. Mm hmm. All right, hey guys, we are back from the keys and the fenders were fantastic. Um, I'm proud of me. <laughs> so they did exactly what I wanted them to do. Um, they clipped on great. We did, uh, the PVC pipe did kind of want to come out a little bit, so we have had to keep pushing it back in. So I will end up putting some caulk or something on the ends of this to keep that PVC pipe in place. Um, but they clipped on so positively, I kid you not, we forgot they were there. So we left the dock and we're on a plane about 10 minutes later, I'm like, where are the fenders? And I realized they were still clipped to the boat and they didn't move. They were literally right in the exact same place. Um, so they work great. Hopefully I gave you guys some ideas of what you guys can do for fenders for your Ginu and uh, hope you enjoy the video.